Hello and welcome to ALW Research Team. Behind me here is a military bunker on the side of a former railway track. Let's go explore this and see what we can find. In this video we are going to showcase a military bunker that we found whilst filming a railway series. There is little known about this bunker's military history. The only records we have been able to find is its post World War II use which was simply a tool store as it was a good location for the permanent way staff of the adjacent railway. Fixed equipment inside the bunker matches War Office type Second World War fitted systems. Filmed over two visits, we are now going to enter the bunker. Well, straight away there's a British Rail fence post. And there's a blast door. I thought it might be a military bunker. It's a blast, yeah. This is military. That is a blast door. It's all been on fire. Well, that yeah. to me is a blast door. There's nothing else that would be. Because it's over, over half an inch thick steel door that goes into a steel frame. My guess here is that that was for uh, fuel for the generator. I'm thinking there would have been a generator in here. Is that what those large pipes are for? I think that's what these bolts had on the floor. Ah, oh yeah, I never saw those last time. So, these large pipes, I think one of them will be for the exhaust and one of them for the air in. That would have been... Uh, that pipe worked there for the air angling unit. I'm wondering if the generator were water cooled and they use the water cooling to heat the building. Like a CHP. Like a CHP. Combined yeah. heat and power. Yeah. CHP is a, a yeah. generator which you use the yeah. engine coolant to then. I Sorry, was that banging the. I don't think they ran the a normal boiler because you wouldn't have a bolt configuration like that on the floor for a normal boiler. And these no. aren't normal boiler flues. No. They're so, large, large bore, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And then there's this pipe up here. Yep. Well, that goes through to where we came in, and it looks like there was some sort of flap on the other side. So, so it's like an uh, exhaust. I, I think this bunker would have been pressurised, and that would be like to relieve the pressure in the building. Like, an, you know, an. Uh, an extract in reverse, you know, because the building's pressurised and then the, the excess air flows out through there because it does have a flap outside. Yeah. So what do we think this bunker was used for? I can, I can only assume, obviously something to do with the railway. There's a railway tie there. Yeah, there is. There's a, there's, this is one of the cleats. The Hatfield rail disaster was caused by a lack of these cleats holding the rail to the chair. Now, here's yes, Dave says that's the that is the uh, gas mask configuration. They called these an air treatment unit, which took the any NBCD chemicals, nuclear, biological, or chemical defence um, particles out of the air to make it breathable. And then we've got several rooms through here. Several rooms. Now this backs up Dave's thoughts that there was a generator, because that's a tin of motor oil down there. And we've got ventilation up here. And it looks like the ventilation used to cool machinery. And there's, there's wooden beams across the top, all the way around each room and further ventilation. So this, to me, the wooden pieces look like they were for cables. And then there was equipment in these rooms. That, there, that is a fish plate. That is a, that is a fish plate for railway line, right there. And that bolted two section of 
two sections of railway line together. Now that is that is full size railway, that was not narrow gauge or anything. Rather big. And we've got several rooms here. Here's another room with with something to let large amounts of air in there, or cables, and then we've got the wood around again. And another hole here. We've got socket outlets in the walls here. We've also got something here that looks like a light switch arrangement. And more wood across the top. So, if you know what this bunker is for, please leave a comment. If you've got any theories, please get in touch in the comments box below. And we've got an outlet flap there again to let air through to here. And then there's another outlet flap from that side. So this building had a lot of air movement within it. We've got something there that looks like part of a ventilation system in the centre of the screen now. Going this way, this is the largest room in the full bunker. And there's more ventilation over there. And there's the other side of that hole there and there for moving cables around. There's also, I've just noticed, there's metal work, metal work coming through that hole there and one drops down here. And this was used to move cables around and it's all in galve conduit. Galvanized steel conduit and that goes to their lock. And then this room has also got the wooden pieces going along the top end of each wall. There's a large steel plate here that looks like it used to have wing nuts onto it to hold it onto and keep it retained in place of a machine of some sort, we don't know what. But like I say, if you know, please get in touch. Got an old Shafton near Barnsley brick there. I'm just going to move that up here to take a nice photograph of it. Shafton near Barnsley. Can you get a picture of that please, Harry? Brick. I do like a good brick. This is Harry. Uh, I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description box. He's a superb photographer. And that is this bunker, the railway bunker. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you every Thursday at 4pm UK time with another video. Bye bye for now.